Now we'll multiply large numbers by 11, 12 or even 13 without using a calculator in the mind. So let me begin uh, with the example. So suppose if I have uh, 1, 2 and 3 and I want to multiply by 11. So how will I do this? So in that case what I'll do is uh, first uh, I'll just take the last terms. So I'll say 1 and then I'll say 3 here and then I'll add 1 and 2 together. So if I add 1 and 2 together that will be equal to 3 and then I'll add 2 and 3 together that will be equal to 5. So my answer will be equal to 1, 3, 5, 3. Again how did I do this? So my first digit is same as the first digit uh, we have uh, here. My second digit will be equal to 1 plus 2 which is first digit plus second digit. My third digit will be equal to uh, second digit plus third digit and the last will be equal to the last digit plus zero because we have nothing else left. So that will be equal to one, three, five, three. So that's my answer, one, three, five, three. Uh, again, uh, how will I do the same for 12? So if I have one, two, three, and I want to multiply by 12. So here, what will I do is, I'll first take the first digit. So first digit, we have one, so I'll just write a one here. Then we have another digit. Uh, so for this, to calculate the second digit of our answer, we'll take the first digit and multiply by two, and then add two into it. So what I did here is, I multiply this by two, and then I added two into it. So that will give me two into one is two plus two, four. Then I'll, for calculating the third digit of the answer, uh, I'll do 2 into 2 plus 3 that will be equal to 7. So I multiply this by 2 and then I add it into the 3. So that will be equal to 7. And then for the last digit, I'll take uh, multiply the last digit by 2. So if I multiply this by 2, so 3 into 2 plus 0 so that will be equal to 6 so the answer will be equal to 1 4 7 6 so basically i am multiplying each digit, each digit by 2 and then i add it i am adding the next digit into it so let's uh, go to another example uh, and multiply by 13 so if i have 1 2 3 and i want to multiply by 13 in this case, I'll do the same way. First digit will be equal to first digit. The second will be 1 into 3 plus 2. And third will be equal to 2 into 3 plus 3. And then on we have 3 into 3 plus 0. So if you look here, I multiplied all the numbers by 3. Here, I multiplied all the numbers by 2. And here, uh, I did not do the any, any multiplication because it was 1. So if I add these numbers, it will be 5, 9, and 9. So the answer will be equal to 1, 5, 9, 9. So that's how I'll multiply any number by 11, 12, or 13. So let's uh, do another example. If I have uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 1 so I have to multiply by 11 so that so the first uh, digit will be equal to 1 second will be equal to 1 plus 2 third will be equal to 2 plus 3 and fourth will be equal to 3 plus 1 and then we are left with the fifth which is equal to 1 so the answer will be equal to 1 3 5 4 1 so answer is 
वन थ्री फाइव फोर वन अगेन इफ आई हैव वन टू थ्री वन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेल्व हेयर वी हैव वन देन वी हैव वन इंटू टू प्लस टू डेट्स देन वी हैव टू इंटू टू प्लस थ्री थ्री इंटू टू प्लस वन एंड वन इंटू टू सो डैट विल गिव मी फोर This will give me seven, seven, two. So answer is one, four, seven, seven, two. Again, if I have to multiply by one by thirteen, then the answer will be equal to one, one into three plus two, one. Ah, uh, two into three. Plus three, three into three plus one, and one into three. So that will give me uh, three plus uh, two is equal to five. Uh, three into two is six plus three nine. And if you look here, it will be three into three is nine plus one ten. So here we have ten. and here we will have 3 so in this case we have to be careful because there is a carry over so we have to write 3 then here we will write 0 because we have 10 here so one will go to the 9 so 9 plus 1 is 10 again so we will have one more zero it will go to the 5 so it will be 6 and then it's 1 so answer is 16003 so that will be our answer so i hope this trick will be helpful and i'll see you in the next trick